So, uh, weapon bars. Um, one of the common materials that we use for weapon bars on Tombstone is made out of S7. S7 is, S in this case stands for shock. It's a shock tool steel that's designed for high shock applications. Uh, punches and dies, things like that is where it was originally designed for. And this has been commonly used in combat robotics for a long time. Um, but there are some specifics on how you use it that to make it survive. So here's some S7 weapon bars. These are all been used, obviously, some more than others. Okay. So these two here are still usable, although they've got some, some damage to them. One of the issues with tool steel in general, and S7 specifically, is when it fails, it tends to fail spectacularly. You, you tend to break them rather than bend anything. Okay. So part of how that you get it to where they can survive is how they're properly heat treated. Um, and here's some examples of where heat treating has sort of sort of failed. So this is the impact point on this side right here. So this is the part that would actually cut. This side here, a piece broke off from the shock delivered here. So this is a spot where a piece broke off, not because it was hit, but because it's just a little on the brittle side. This particular bar is actually too hard. Um, you can see some, some pieces that have been removed out of this one. This is out of one fight. So this happened in one fight, and it was damaged. Okay. So like this one here has six or eight fights. So it's lost a few pieces, but it's, this one held up a lot better. This is the actual weapon bar that was on the robot when I fought Minotaur. So these are, these are big hits against uh, you know, a top-level opponent. So although it's seen enough damage now, I probably would never use this one again, because that's a, that's a pretty good piece of material missing. This one actually held up much better than this one did. This one was just a little too hard. This one was just about right. Okay. So here's, here's two of the major failures for Tombstone's weapon bars here. So this first one right here, this broke in the match between Tombstone and Witch Doctor. Okay. This particular weapon bar had a lot of fights on it. Okay. Um, at least 20. And so my guess is that it probably developed a stress fracture. I'm guessing right there. Okay. And that's where it propagated. You can actually see the propagation lines from the way this cracked and broke. This was actually a really well done bar. It just <laughs> exceeded its life. Okay. This is the one that broke in the match against Bite Force. Okay. And if you look at the, the, the granularity of the material between the way they broke, this one was actually hardened much better and was tougher than this one. Okay? This was 20 fights or so. This was two fights. This, only, this bar only had two fights on it when it broke. Okay? <clears throat> so my thinking on this, in its first fight, you can actually see kind of it got scraped up against something here. You follow that scrape on around, right there is where that scrape would have popped through, and I think it probably just created a chip there, and so that when it hit, that's where it, the propagation started was right there. So some, some of the problem with this is just blading it down to a sharp edge. It makes it easier for that to happen. <clears throat> the other part, though, is this bar is just simply not as tough as this one. So that's talk about hardening. Okay. When this bar broke, after so short a, uh, an amount of fights, I took these pieces back to the heat treater and essentially complained like crazy and go, hey, this, well, this one had 20 fights, this had two. You can see the, the toughness difference. I, I want this. I don't want this. So these marks on here are where they tested the 
hardening of this material. Okay. So my specifications when I take it into a heat treater is I'd like 54 RC, that's the, the, the hardness I'm after, uh, and double temper. All right. So this one was measured in a couple of spots, and you can see it was a little over-hardened, um, and so this wasn't tempered quite enough. Um, this one here still had some, it had some fluctuations in how it was hardened. There's, you know, low is 53, high is 55. So there's some variances throughout what's left of the bar in hardness. And you would think that that would be more of a problem, but this one was actually much tougher. So um, in talking with them at the heat treater, because they pulled up some of the documentation on this one here, and interestingly, between the two, the company that did this one, they actually ran the temperature up 50 degrees higher than they did. And they're thinking that slight bit of difference might have made the difference in the hardness and how this worked out. So um, hardening material is kind of as much dark art as it is science. And so it's always something that we're continuing to work with. I mean, obviously... I don't want these sort of grand failures like this. Um, the downside, though, is if I want something that is in this hardness range, I kind of don't have a choice. The weapons need to be hard enough to dig into AR armor, which is the standard that most people use these days. So it has to be harder than the AR armor that people are using. And that is pretty much gonna mean tool steel. So um, we're, always, we're always fighting with this, trying to find out what we can use that will hold up in battle and still be able to deliver the big hits. So where does this leave me going forward? Um, I obviously still think S7 is, is a viable choice uh, but we're going to have to play with the, the hardening and the heat treating and it, some of the geometry a little bit differently than I've run in the past. So I probably won't run the blading all the way down because you can get that chipping. Maybe just actually get the sharp edges on the end only. So some of it's a machining issue on my end. Some of it's a hardening issue on the, the heat treater's end. Um, and we'll just keep working at it and hopefully not have any more of these. This is, this is sadness. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a brief little look at some of the S7 weapon bars that Tombstone uses and some of the failure modes.